The SQL Create Index statement allows you to add an index, otherwise known as a secondary key, to an existing column or a group of columns in a table. The essential syntax of the Create Index statement is shown here. The keywords Create Index or Create Unique Index are followed by the name of the index. The on clause specifies the name of the table, then, in parentheses, the name of the column to be indexed, or a comma-separated list of column names. This example creates an index called IDX last name on the last name column of the customers table. The last name column must already exist in the table. You can call the index pretty much anything, as long as the name doesn't contain any spaces. It's conventional to use the name of the column, prefixed with IDX, like this. This variation of the statement creates an index called IDX full name on the title, last name and first name columns of the customers table. This is called a composite index. Multiple column indexes are useful for queries that test all of the columns in the index. They're also good for queries that test just the first column, just the first two columns, just the first three columns, and so on. This means if you specify the columns in the right order when defining a composite index, a single composite index can speed up several kinds of queries on the same table. This example creates a unique index called IDX Telephone on the telephone number column of the customers table. Notice use of the unique keyword this time. This will ensure that each customer record has a unique telephone number. In MySQL and Microsoft Access, Create Index and Create Unique Index will create non-clustered indexes. To create a clustered index in either of these database management systems, you should add a primary key and this will automatically become the clustered index. There can only be one clustered index per table because the records are stored in order of the clustered index. SQL Server will also automatically make the primary key a clustered index, but in SQL Server this can be undone. Then a different column or group of columns can be nominated as the clustered index. SQL Server therefore supports use of the keywords clustered and non-clustered. Finally, you can remove an index from a column with drop index. Exactly how you do this depends on your database management system. Both Access and SQL Server have a separate drop index statement to do this, but the syntax of these are slightly different. MySQL, on the other hand, has a drop index clause for the alter table statement.